Hi everyone, welcome to my channel. Uh, at this channel, I'm talking about mostly uh, software development related topics and especially I'm experienced on React Native and Flutter. So uh, it means cross development, uh, cross mobile uh, development. So because of my experience, uh, I'm talking about mobile application related topics mostly, but that doesn't mean that I'm, uh, I'm talking also uh, web related uh, development. So uh, it will be a good idea to subscribe to the channel so that you can you know, uh, you can get the latest information about what's going on on the software development world, especially on the mobile side and website. And time time, I'm talking about a uh, server side. And uh, at this video uh, today, I will be talking about Hermes York Engine. Uh, so, uh, Hermes York Engine is uh, created by Facebook uh, because you know I'm developing React Native applications, uh, and we uh, at the past we were having some problems on the Android side and uh, because uh, if the Android uh, the JavaScript engine at the Android device is old then we were hitting some problems some runtime problems because uh, for example some features were not existing so we were we, our app was crashing so uh, Facebook decided to solve this problem and uh, by you know creating their own uh, JavaScript engine because we we can embed Azure Engine inside our React Native applications. So uh, they created Hermes. At first, they supported Android, and now recently they started supporting iOS. But it is not official yet. It, but it will uh, be uh, supported soon on iOS also. Uh, so it started from Android. Now it is working on iOS, and I feel like you know there's some. I have some idea about the feature. I think uh, Facebook secretly is uh, pushing this Hermes engine forward uh, to intention to use it uh, widely in their you know ecosystem. I it, no, it's like a conspiracy theory, but I feel that uh, it will be not used in just React Native. It will be used in some other places. Uh, so I feel like that, and I will tell you why. Uh, first of all, I told that why Facebook created this Hermes. But uh, you know, when you create another engine, if you you know if you reinvent the wheel, that doesn't you know, that means you are wasting your uh, precious developer time. So uh, Facebook didn't reinvent the wheel with Hermes engine. Facebook uh, improved the JavaScript engine. How? First of all, uh, think about it. Uh, we are the uh, we, uh, Hermes engine is created especially for React Native applications, right? So, what is, you know, what is the difference uh, of normal JavaScript engine and Hermes engine uh, when we think about when we think about uh, mobile application? When we consider mobile application, first of all, in conventional conventional engine, uh, when we develop something. Uh, at the past, when we developed for React Native, we were at the, when we do a build, we were having a, an executable core and a JavaScript file. So when we run the app, we, the core was uh, reading the JavaScript file, parting it, and running it. So how? Because uh, at the at the conventional engine, uh, by the help of Babel, because you know we, if we are using uh, some features that you know that are not supported with, uh, with all your know, engine we have to use some kind some tool like babel so when we process with babel and then we minify it then it is downloaded you know it is built inside the app then when we are running the app because we were we are using conventional engine we don't have you know it 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 thinks like i'm running inside a web browser so what is it doing it is reading the short file because it is inside the app parting it then compiling then executing it so it you know while while our app is running we are losing some uh, maybe some seconds to parse and compile uh, the short file that means our code is running slow but with the Hermes, we are moving this parsing and compiling to the build time. So what we are having here is we are uh, babeling, then minifying, then parsing and compiling at, at the build time. I mean, even before uh, packaging the uh, application. 
So at this phase, and also there is an optimization. It is, we, we don't have a file here at the end of the day. We have a bytecode presentation of our code. So app, you know, a, a Hermes engine doesn't have to compile part or something like that. It is already done at the build time. So Hermes engine just starts executing the code because it is optimized bytecode. It is, the bytecode is special for each engine. Uh, I mean, Chrome engine has different bytecode. Hermes engine has different bytecode. So it has a bytecode and it doesn't, because uh, it doesn't have to part and compile the Josh code, it, it can start uh, running the uh, that bytecode directly. So that means we, have, we are shortening our runtime for example, maybe two seconds. So our application starts quickly. And also because Hermes engine has some optimization about reading the, uh, the bytecode uh, file, for example, it doesn't have to run, it doesn't have to read and run everything. It can run all, only the parts that are needed uh, so that it has some optimization during the runtime also. So, uh, as you can see, uh, Hermes engine is really helpful for React Native applications to have better performance, uh, better application start performance. And also, uh, not very huge, but it has also runtime performance optimization. And it was supporting Android. Now it is supporting, uh, it is not official, but it can support iOS also. So, what does it mean? At the past, if you know, if we were talking about just it was supporting Android, then uh, we were. Uh, we, we, I was thinking that yes, Android has uh, optimized optimized startup uh, performance. But now I feel like you know, uh, Facebook has some something has uh, Facebook people uh, has something in their mind because think about that. It, it Hermes engine can run on Android. Hermes engine can run on iOS also. And the rig is having some big changes uh, platform side uh, because they are up to, uh, they are applying some big changes to the rig uh, framework. So I feel like they will have some optimizations that a normal uh, traditional Azure engine cannot support. They will, uh, for example, uh, support React. Think about it. Uh, somebody developing a React framework and React framework needs some optimization, optimization, right? So Hermes engine will support those optimizations for React team. So uh, I think in at the end of the day, when we run React Native applications, because of integration with React and uh, Hermes engine, we will have some optimized uh, even more optimized uh, react application which which means it will run faster for example there there's the, a the interface discussion at this react native community discussion proposal uh, section so uh, what is the uh, interface it means we can run native di directly from our side so traditional maybe traditional engines doesn't support some optimization because they are thinking like i'm running web right so they are not thinking that i will run a native so there is no optimization but when we are talking about the hermes engine i feel like you know uh, facebook will have some optimizations to support running native site from just engine so uh, which means we will have even more optimized uh, React and React Native development, React Native Engine. Also, I feel like maybe in time, Hermes Engine will be like uh, will be core of some web desktop or maybe like Chrome browser. Maybe you know in time if I if we see a Facebook browser, uh, don't be surprised because think about it. it Facebook need to reach our uh, need to create a uh, performance applications right so, so it will be natural to them to develop a browser facebook browser for example to uh, which is running really fast for facebook and also it is running normal for other websites so we don't be surprised if we see a facebook browser in time because i feel like it will happen but of course it doesn't mean i it's just a feeling because of the know changes that are happening 
but uh, at the end of the day it will be really helpful for uh, react native developers uh, because it will be supporting optimizations uh, for react native applications and uh, startup app optimization runtime optimization and our react native apps will run really fast and it will be uh, maybe uh, it will be running uh, fast as native applications so uh, as you can see there will be really important changes on react native Hermes engine in time because uh, and i hopefully it will be really helpful uh, for, uh, to us developers so that we can uh, create really uh, fast running uh, applications i will be talking uh, and new topics in like this in time don't forget to subscribe so that you can get my new topics that i'm talking so that you'll be informed about the changes uh, that are coming in react native react and maybe uh, other platforms also for example flutter have a good day bye